Hey guys, Rad Utah here, bringing you guys a tutorial on how to adjust the DIN and what is the DIN on the ski bindings. So DIN is actually a spring inside of each binding that is uh, loaded by using a screw located in the front of the binding and also in the back of the binding. So I have a couple of different bindings here to show you guys the screw in the back of the binding here and then the screw in the front of the binding. As you can see, some of them are flat heads and some of them are Phillips. And you guys can see some of these bindings actually have two screws in the back and I'm gonna be going over that as well. So this marker is uh, a little bit different. It actually has the screw on the side of the binding rather than directly in the front. And there's not gonna be a whole lot of those, but it is out there. So I thought I'd bring it to your attention. So there's actually two screws in this one right here. And I'm gonna show you this bottom one is actually to adjust the binding and the top one is to adjust the DIN. So there are charts out there that actually tell you the current up-to-date marker, Tyrolia, Solomon, Rosignol, all of the current up-to-date DIN charts. And you're gonna want to use that with your height, sole measurement, and weight. Uh, there's the different things on there to read the chart and that is a, another video that I will be putting up too, how to read the chart. So more of the advanced skiers actually know what setting works best for them just from kind of trial and error going up half a notch or so going down if you're uh, crashing and your bindings not releasing then that means it is too tight if you're doing hard turns and your binding just pops off by itself that means it's too loose so that's one thing as you advance you want to kind of play around with the number on the den chart to kind of see where you're at specifically because we're not all built the same as far as muscles strengths and whatnot or age whatever limitations are limiting you and maybe you have one foot that uh, is a little bit more weaker than the other one so for that you're going to want to adjust them separately so just make sure you keep track of which ski is which if you're right foot and left foot and then you can adjust the right foot different from the left foot so after you have your den setting what you're going to want to do to adjust these is pop up this back heel binding just like that same for each this one you actually don't have to pop up it shows the numbers right there the screws right there you don't have to pop it up to actually access it but most of them you are going to have to pop up to see the numbers right here and as you guys can see here there's a line that uh, correlates to the number of your den setting so 2.5 here and you guys can see the line is kind of matching up there if I go lefty loosey, then that goes down. And if I go righty tighty, that goes back up. So here's another heel piece, uh, just so you guys can kind of see what they all look like. You can see the line there. Make sure the heel piece lines up with the same number that you're putting on the heel you put on the toe piece. And here's the front part right here. You can stick a flathead or a Phillips in most of these, or some of them are just flathead. Some of them are made for just Phillips over here. So. Make sure you have the right tools, you have the right numbers, and then it's same in the front here, righty tidy, lefty loosey. There you go. Hope you guys like this video today. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and hit the bell for more videos like this. And make sure to subscribe.